Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Today's video is going to be on the gear I'm taking out on my Haversack weekend. So the Haversack weekend is tomorrow, starts Friday. And this is everything that I need to take with me for the outing. Now, as you can see, all of this gear, with the exception of the oil cloth tarp, which is uh, right at the top of your screen with the radio uh, laying on top of it and the blanket underneath everything is obviously not going in the uh, in the haversack, right? Everything else has to go in the haversack and also with the exception of, of course, the bushcraft belt, that's not going in the haversack either. So this is everything that I'm taking with me for this weekend. So as you can see, we're going to start at the bottom left of the screen. You see a headlamp. You see uh, pace beads. The Altoy tin has a waterproof wax in it that I would use on my leather gloves or the, the winter leather gloves, which are on top of the work leather gloves on the bottom of it. You see the compass next to the Altoy tin. There's a wool scarf. Above the Altoy tin, above the wolf scarf, is the Go Outfitters tarp, which I might take just by itself and leave the oil cloth tarp behind. I'm not sure yet. I haven't made a decision. Next to the oil cloth tarp, you see the Stanley cup and the metal water container next to each other. The water filter, which is a survival, uh, survival filter pro. The firebox, right below the firebox is the so sharpening stone, right next to the uh, sharpening stone is the rat tail um, tourniquet. Right below the rat tail tourniquet and the sharpening stone is the duct tape, the flat roll duct tape. Right, so right above the rat tail, you'll see the my uh, fire starting kit, the one that I keep on my person. My first aid kit next to the fire starting kit. kit. Right above the fire box, you'll see a grill. It's a little portable grill that I bought online. It fits perfectly in the, uh, the haversack. The oil cloth tarp is next to the grill. The Bofeng radio on top of the oil cloth tarp. And then right next to the first aid, to the right of the first aid, you'll see a bunch of 550 cord and webbing. Right, And right below the webbing, or oh, sorry, the, the 550 cord, you'll see my flask uh, with whiskey in it. I think it's Lafrag or Lafrog, can't pronounce it. And right next to the whiskey is the fire starting, an extra fire starting kit. Now, it might be overkill, but I have a total of three fire starting kits, right? So on the bushcraft belt, next to the uh, leather, the hard leather case, is a fire starting kit in the little black uh, pouch. And then I have two more, so I have a total of three, which is a lot. A lot of the times, I usually leave the uh, the smaller tan one behind and just carry two fire kits, right? It's better that it's, one is none, two is, you know, the same. So anyway, and I'm at the bottom of the screen, off to your right, you'll see the Hidden Woodsman Haversack kit. All right, so now, in the next video, or sorry, the next scene or segment, however you want to call it, you'll see all of this gear stuffed in the haversack. All right guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, so now I'm packed. So I got everything in there with the exception of the um, Titan Warrior cord. That was a blue cord at the end of the uh, wool blanket. I didn't need it. I had too many, uh, I had a lot of 550 cord to begin with. So I might bring it along just to test it, but it's not in the haversack. The other fire kit that I was telling you about, the tan one, that didn't go in there either. I didn't need the overkill, right, with all of the fire kits I have. And that's it. So everything you see that's not in the bag goes in my pocket. My uh, leather fire pouch, my headlamp, and the whiskey, which actually might go in the bag later. But I normally keep that in my uh, my, my pocket, right? So that and the radio gets clipped onto the bag because obviously you need it to be outside. You don't 
need to dig for your radio, you should always keep it uh, easily accessible. Plus, we have people going up there. There's no phone signal. So we use the Bofang. I'm still on the fence about the oil cloth tarp. Uh, as you can see, the blanket's ready to roll. It is dropping 20 degrees tomorrow night and Saturday night. So I'm going to roll another uh, wool blanket. This blanket you see is an alpaca wool, which is lighter than a regular wool blanket. But I am going to pack a regular wool blanket because it's dropping, like I said, below freezing. All right. So again, this is the video. This is probably my second Haversack video. I did follow the uh, 13 C's and then some. I didn't pack food. I am going to uh, roll it up in the wool blanket. I didn't have enough room in the haversack to pack the food, right? But normally when you pack a haversack, you pack a wool blanket, a roll, sorry, a bedroll, excuse me. When you have a haversack, you pack a bedroll, right? So you can actually put more gear in there as well. I might put uh, one other additional item in there that might be another water, uh, metal water container, but that's it. So this is the beginning of my, my weekend. I will post a, another video at the end of the Haversack weekend, which is a Haversack 2 weekend, I'm going to go a little different with it. I'm hoping to do a natural setup, but if not, I did bring the the regular tarp as a backup. The oil cloth tarp, like I said, that's still up in the air. When I do the video, you'll see my setup. You'll either see the tarp there or you won't. So we shall see. All right, guys, this is the Annual Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr. Google Plus and Twitter. You can also follow me on Vero now. That's a new social media uh, app or, or page. And you can also listen to me on podcasts as well. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.